Ow. My thumb still hurts. <laughs> We're a week away from training camp with the Lions. Dave's always up to date on the news. Tweeting Speaking right now. Of, you're tweeting? What are you tweeting? Just to watch the show. Watch me school art in this true or false segment. Ooh, that's yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. A new okay. segment here that we brought a couple weeks you're ago. pretty confident now that Darren won, huh? <laughs> true or false about the Lions coming coaching. up with training camp. <laughs> and Dominican Sue, exhibit A, B, C, D, E, F, G, man. The most notorious topic about the Lions. Will he get a new deal done by the start of the regular season? True or or false? I guess that's a question. And Dominic and Sue will get a deal done by the beginning of the season. True or false? Start of the season? True. I say true. That's very true. I don't, it's not going to happen this week. Uh, it's not going to happen before the start of camp. But I've said this before. I think Dominic gets it done. I think he comes to the realization. Look, he wants to be paid. He's going to be paid like the, not just the highest defensive tackle in the league, but one of the best played defenders in the league. I think he's going to come to the realization that taking the money now up front rather than risking what he has to risk during the season, the potential for injury and other such things, um, is the best option. I think he gets a deal done sometime next is month. Is it a risk, Art? Uh, I don't think it, no, I don't think it is a risk, but I think true. I agree. I think he is going to get a deal done. I think Adamic and Sue, you know, I think he kind of segments his life. And now he's getting back into his football life. You know, the reality shows are over. You know, he's done, you know, challenging Mike Martin to races or whatever they were doing on that reality show. Uh, the way I look at it is that he gets paid the most money here, which is nice. Plus, if you, he has a lot of time invested here. If, 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 if Dominic and Sue realizes that if he could lead this team to a Super Bowl, I mean, not only would it be news just here in Detroit, he'd be a big guy. It'd be international be news because the Lions have never done anything. Well, Stafford would be king, but yeah, he'd, he'd, well, he'd, he'd, I mean, he'd be a huge part of it. Stafford's yeah. another thing, too. By the way, to smartly. There's no doubt about it. He could capitalize. capitalize. I'll tell you what, if I was right, Sue, right. though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame him at all for <laughs> not signing anything. I mean, until later in the se season, you want to see how things are going to play out, how the new coaching staff is going to use you. I Fair think point. you got a pretty good idea, but... From his standpoint, yeah, you know, and the later you get, the closer you get to free agency, it's a win -win the less point. Right now. But he's, he's a football player. He has to realize that, you know, get the job done and then concentrate on football, and then everything that you want in life will come to you. Sure. The Lions offense got a big boost signing Golden Tate as the number two receiver behind Calvin Johnson. True or false, Golden Tate will have at least 70 catches this season, Art? I hope it's true, but somehow I think it's false. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I really don't. I, I mean, the way I look at it right now, I think that Golden Tate is a fine receiver. I don't know if he's a, like your second receiver. Um, and, you know, it, a lot of it hinges on where Matthew Stafford's at and where his accuracy is at. You know, Calvin, does it open up the field? Do, you know, they have a running game. It seems like offensively all the parts are there for the Lions to be a very good offensive football team. Is Golden Tate really the answer at wide receiver? Uh, they sure think so. You know, that's a, uh, I, I think if I was Vegas and I was putting a line on it, 70 would be about where I would put it. You know, I, if you look back over at. Over-under? Yeah, the over-under. Nate Burleson went 2011, the last year he was healthy. I think he had 73 catches. So there's a number two receiver. It can be done where you have two guys with over 70. The last couple of years, nobody's had more than 50 as a compliment or 50 couple as a compliment to, to Calvin. So I'm going to say false, but I think he'll get in the 60s. I think he'll be pretty close. Michael LaShore has been a guy who hasn't really seen the field much in the past two seasons. True or false, LaShore makes the 53-man roster. That's a tough one, too. Uh, I'll say false. Look, I, I think the Lions have a little bit of a logjam at running back right now. Reggie Bush, Joyke Bell, Theo Riddick, those guys are all going to be, those guys are all going to have a role on the team. They're going to have a fullback this year. That's four running backs. Uh, you keep five. I, I mean, where else are you going to, you know, how else are you going to come up with room for him to, to contribute in this offense? Montel Owens should be on there as sort of a hybrid. The way that they're going to use their tight ends. I think LaSure, the only way that he's going to have a role on the team this year is if something happens, if they have an injury somewhere. Though I know the Lions don't want to give up on him as a second round pick. Well, I, I would say false. I think that if they could get, the, you know, LaSure and maybe Josh Smith of the Pistons and, and Lions could work out a deal to send both the trade them out of town. each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's never been done before, but let's think cutting edge here. Uh, he's been a great disappointment. When they drafted him out of Illinois, I thought that this was going to be a great, a really great running back. You know, obviously he had the injury problem and uh, the Achilles and all that, and that, that did set him back. But, you know, when you're a Detroit Lion, and let me get, tell you guys this, if you're a Detroit Lion, they are going to give you every opportunity to make the team and to do well and to perform because for years they've had nothing. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity when you put on that Honolulu blue and silver with black accents to go out there and show them what you have. And, you know, he hasn't done it. He has been a great disappointment. I think that, you know, where, I don't even know where his mind's at. Seems like to me he's a guy that uh, needs a change of scenery.
He, well, he said he wants to, or he said that you know he likes what he heard from Lombardi so far. He's going to get a fair shake. I just don't know if the room is there at the end of the day. The group that will be on that field, the goal is clearly to make the playoffs this season. It's a make or break type of thing. They have to make the playoffs. There is no bar that is low enough for them to have any excuse. This is a team with parts that have to make it. True or false? The Lions make the playoffs this season, Dave. I'm going to say false. I mean, I think they're going to be a oh, team, right? No. Have fun out there next week. No, uh, look. I, You're going to have fun, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I don't think they're a bad team. I think they're a team just like they were last year. You know, they're kind of in that 8-8 eight and eight mix, and maybe this year with some of the changes they made, they're a little bit uh, – they're in better shape to, to take advantage of, of opportunities if they're there. You know, catch the breaks. If a quarterback gets hurt, Aaron Rodgers, Jay Cutler. But it's just so rare that you catch those breaks two years in a row, and I think they still have some questions at the back end of the defense, even up front a little bit. Stafford needs to get right. It's going to take him a little bit to uh, feel comfortable in that offense. I think they're going to be an 8-8 eight and eight team and just miss the playoffs. Sure. Well, you know what? I think it's always safe to say the Lions are going to be 8-8. Eight and eight. I, I agree with you. I think it's false as well. I don't see them making the playoffs. I think it's a year of transition, and we'll see what Jim Caldwell can do. Uh, you know, and the, the key, as much as you know, we talk about the defense, is really going to be Matthew Stafford. Where is Matthew, St where is Matthew Stafford at at this point? I mean, I, I, is he the guy that showed up against the Ravens? You know, that's another thing, too. There were some key games last year, in that Monday night game against Baltimore, where Stafford and Calvin Johnson were just as – you know, responsible sure. for them losing. And, and, you know, the defense played fairly well. I mean, it, it's just weird. The Lions, you never know with them, but until they actually do it, I'm never going to say they're a playoff team. Well, that's our thought. That's <laughs> Dave's thought. Training camp starts next week, and the long no. journey to that place that is magical, the playoffs, begins. We're going to have so much coverage of it. You can always follow Dave's coverage on uh, Freep.com and on Twitter. Art, Dave, and I have our final thoughts coming up after the break.